I'm out here right now in the greatest reality that we all will face someday because forever comes with an expiration date. You know, what matters is what you do between the dash, right? Our birthday is given to us, our death date is waiting for us. And what makes this place special, this particular cemetery, not just because my mother is here, but when I first started rehab time, a lot of people don't know this, is that I would come to the same cemetery. I would bring friends here and we would walk around and we would see the tombstones and we would see different dates. We would see people five years old, 95 years old, black, white, you know, brown. It didn't matter, man, woman, child made us realize and it made me realize this that our time on this earth is limited you know life is long right but it also is limited at the same time and it had me thinking about this one question and it really disturbed my soul and I was thinking like man how many people that's here in this cemetery actually live their life on purpose for purpose live the life of purpose or how many people came here with regrets how many people still have that book inside them? How many people still have them dreams inside them? How many people still have those God-given gifts still inside them? And my greatest fear is not dying. My greatest fear is not fully living. And so I ask myself the question is, am I living a life of purpose? And I just told you to say I am purpose because a lot of us, we confuse purpose with placement. Purpose is not your job. It's not your relationship. That's a part of it. It's not your bank account. It's not your house, not your car. Purpose is you. God created you on purpose, for purpose, to live purpose, to do purpose, to be purpose, to breathe purpose. And some of us forget how uniquely made and created we are. And we think we need all these things. We need a blue check mark by our name. We need followers by our name. We need all these things of status by our name to actually be someone. And that's not the truth. You can have all those things and still come here with incompletion. You can have all those things that the world says the American dream and still come here not living the life that was meant for you to live. So the question I want you to think about right now in this moment is, how can I live my life more on purpose? How can I give me to the world more? How can I give my gifts to the world more? Yeah, that thing that you want to do but you're allowing fear to keep it back, how can you give that to the world more? When I think about my mother, I believe she literally died in peace. You know why? Because she lived in priority. She lived doing the things that matter. She lived in service. Purpose is service. It's serving others with your gift. It's serving others with your dream, with your talent. It's being a service to this world. And as my grandmother would say, everything you touch, you're making it better. Everybody you're around, you're making them better. That's purpose. Purpose is not something you search for in the world. Purpose is who you are. Purpose is not something you search for. It's what you align with. And when you truly go internal and realize that you have purpose and you are purpose, that's when everything in your life changes. Remember, you are purpose. Let's get it.